Hey guys, uh, Roseburg Vintage PSA. I'm gonna do a, a couple of uh, videos here, uh, talking about a, a 25 card uh, pre 65 order. It's the special that PSA is going doing right now. Um, finally got that together. Also doing another one. Um, it's gonna have some modern stuff in it, uh, some Wander Franco, uh, Soto, Kuna stuff, and obviously some vintage. Uh, but I wanted to start with this one. Um, I was hoping to do another video uh, before I sent this out, uh, but PSA is, oh, they're just so far behind right now. It's just crazy. Talked to a guy at a show uh, last week and he was saying that it, you know, they could be four months out on a, uh, on a, uh, you know, what used to be a 10 day turnaround. I was looking at some older submissions and just last year, I was getting stuff back in within 14 days. So the hobby is in good shape, looks like, with uh, everybody submitting cards. So um, again, these are all uh, 64s and um, older. And uh, I'll start with the oldest ones first. Um, it's a Hank Aaron. Uh, it's beat up. Um, and remember, all these cards need to be uh, valued at under a hundred dollars. Uh, so it is eight dollars a, uh, a submission, and you have to send in at least twenty-five. Um, and this one's beat up, and it's you know probably going to come back at two, um, maybe three if I'm lucky. But it's you know a hundred-dollar card, and I think it'll look good in the slab. And I won't turn these over; they got all the numbers on them. Um, I have a bunch of um, 67s. Been working on my 67 set. I'll kind of fly through these. I don't need to bore you with all the details. All these are pretty good condition, except for the Hank Aaron. Um, the Aparicio here. Um, made that for my my 57 set. Excuse me. I said 67. 57. A bunch of these 57s going out, and they're all in in really good shape. Uh, Robin Roberts here. Almost all of these are Hall of Famers. Um, I think they all are, to be quite honest with you. And Nelly Fox. Uh, sharp card. Richie Ashburn. Centered great. Um, again, I think these will all be close to sevens. Duke Snyder, uh, this is fantastic. I'm hoping on an eight on this one. Um, really centered well. Uh, great color. Uh, corners are perfect. Rocco Calavetti. Not a Hall of Famer, but that is a rookie card. Um, I might get a six, though. Eno Slaughter. Another Hall of Famer. Toward the end of his career. Uh, so Whitey Ford. Um, a couple of these uh, I'll show you here. This was a, a Beckett 6.5 that I snapped out yesterday. And it'll probably get a 6. Um, corners aren't super sharp. Always love this card. Um, just love the color contrasted there. Um, again, here, Solis Aparicio. This was a 7. Back at seven, I just snapped out yesterday, and it's a real solid card. It'd be a really disappointing anything less than that. Jim Bunning, little OC, but otherwise, it's about it. Nice Eddie Matthews. Um, Eddie Matthews in a seven. I think this must be a card that is really. Uh, something about it. There's not that many sevens, so a six is uh, only sixty dollars, and a, a seven is two fifty. So, and I picked this up real cheap, twenty five bucks. I think I paid online. Somebody had to buy it now, so I'll be happy with the six. Uh, not a Hall of Famer though. Uh, Ted Kulzuski. It's a sixty. There's another one, um, probably two cards, both these Klozuskis I will, probably wouldn't send in. Uh, normally, the $20 um, submission fee, these would be only being $8, eight dollars. Um, I think it's worth it. I think that's a $50 card, it comes back a seven. 
uh, this is Drysdale. Uh, let me see, this was a snap out. So, right there, the seven. I think I might be sneaking that one in. I think uh, it might be valued at about 120. If it comes back a seven. Um, it should. Um, this Drysdale here is actually a Becca 8. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the top there is pretty. It's one of those jagged edges. Um, but I'd be happy with the 7. That came back a 7. I'm 61s. Uh, I'm doing a 61 set. Um, do not have this one. So, Warren Spawn late in his career. Real nice Orlando Cepeda. Little OC. The color is great. Um, really sharp corners. spawn here 62 not a lot of chipping on this um, pretty good overall um, this mantle here um, is not in very good shape um, probably come back a five it's uh, got some soft corners but it is a mantle with a maris on it and uh, you know anything with the mantles is gonna gonna have value. And it's a great looking card. I, I love those. A real nice cepeda. Little to no chipping. I have hopes that this might get an eight. Little OC top to top to bottom, but that's got a chance at an eight. This Willie Mays is uh, beat up really good. Um, you can't probably see it. Takes just the right lighting. There's a crease that goes right down the middle. So I got this at a, uh, I probably paid 20 bucks for it. So I'll get it slabbed and try to resell it. Uh, Gil Hodges, this is a nice card too. Uh, easy seven or an eight. Uh, I have a complete uh, 64 set. This is uh, one card I do not have. Slapped it. And to fill out the order, I was running low on decent cards to send in, so this one's out of order. This is a rookie card, uh, Tim McCarver 62, solid card. Come back a seven. And uh, Bunning, I don't have this graded either. Um, hoping this gets a seven as well. So that's the uh, cards under 100 bucks. Um, these next here are uh, a lot more high, high value cards. Um, this Bunning, it could come back an eight. Uh, I hope it does. It's a stunning card. I paid quite a bit for it, probably a hundred dollars, I think. But if it does come back a seven or eight, it'll be about two fifty. Um, this is rookie card. Uh, this Kofax, I have this in a four. PSA 4, um, I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for this, so I'm, I'm hoping this comes back a 7, um, and it's very solid. A little OC, but the corners are, the corners and color are fantastic. Uh, 61 Maris, um, pretty decent card, it might come back a 6, a little OC, didn't pay too much for it. This mantle here is uh, gorgeous. Um, the condition is not gorgeous, but I just love this 61 mantle. Uh, it'll probably come back a four. Uh, it's got some soft corners. I don't know if you can tell. Soft corner there and there. It's centered pretty well. It's got a good eye peel. So four. I paid about 200 for this. Uh, Ernie Banks. I do not have this 66 Ernie Banks, so... Um, to my collection. Uh, this Gibson's real nice as well. I think I have this in a seven, so I'd be hoping for an eight, but I think the OC might get it. 
Uh, this was the last card I needed for my 64 set. Phil Negro rookie card. Um, and it's, it's real nice. Paid, I think, 200 for it. So it needs to come back a seven. I need to uh, stay ahead of the game. This uh, Carlton here, uh, it was actually an SCG snap out. Older SCG, or SGC. Uh, 86 game mid plus, so comes back a seven, I'll be happy. Good looking card. So getting into some modern here. Uh, I busted a box of this and uh, didn't have this Mookie graded. So it's pretty solid. How it goes, you want to see a nine or a ten. Uh, this is a Soto. Um, so the tops update. 2018, probably a nine. This uh, this corner down here is showing some white. Uh, this is numbered out of uh, 299. Um, so a nine is probably what I'll get on that. Got a few Acunas here. Um, this is just the uh, blue shirt, uh, just the uh, standard uh, tops card. And there is uh, three of those. So hopefully, uh, you know, nine and a couple of tens. They're all in good shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the Soto uh, Tops Chrome update. Um, I think they come back tens. There's two of them. And the final card is the. Uh, Speculation card. I don't usually send cards in like this, but uh, this is the Wonder Franco out of the uh, Bowman Heritage. Um, the first pack I opened, the first box, center pack, <laughs> first pack I got this. So pretty much the one you wanted to get, everybody. And this is not the, uh, this is just the, the base one. It's not numbered or anything. It's not like an orange or have an orange and a gold or something so happy to get it and uh we'll see what we got so sending these off um who knows how long i might be doing something in six months um getting this back so we'll see the other one's supposed to be back pretty soon uh, like i say it's been there three months a lot of great cards in it a lot of 61s rookie cards so hopefully i get that here in a couple weeks Thanks for watching.